Good morning. It is, uh, hold on. 8.48, 8.49. It never even said 8.48. I'm a little delirious, I think. Found some weed, as we've seen. This is what's left of it. A little cute baby joint for later. Um, it's my hotel room. Pretty fucking dope. Cool looking European hotel room. Um, I have 40 minutes to be to the bus. I'm going to get some breakfast. Yesterday was an off day. I was gonna do some vlogging from the town, but I did more relaxing, catching up. Um, you know, Teddy's going through some shit right now, so that really sucks for him. Kind of put me out of the whole mode of being vloggy myself and it's kind of like feels weird to be running around all psyched about things while your man's fucking hurting so just gonna take a break but now here i am go to this buffet see what it's like food is supposed to be banging bring the camera i don't fucking know and then it's off to the first non-festival real show here in cologne or it's k-o-l-n Holm. Colm, Colm, kind of like colon, but you know, Colm, Colm is what it is, Colm. But in America, we just make our own saying, spell it cologne, like the shit that you put on your skin. And it's like Munich, it's not Munich, it's Munchen. I don't know, for some reason, I guess we can't pronounce it, so we just made a totally different name. I found that very interesting. Awesome to be noted. This place looks like the inside of a spaceship, all rounded. It feels like you're kind of staying in the Death Star, nonstop. Just a big loop all the way around. Hold up. Hey, hey, hey. We out here. TV too. In the background. Ooh, wait that way. We we'll go that way. Get out the way. Left is right. We're in the mirror. Look, this girl's dancing too. Throw it up. Hey. I don't know why I'm dancing. This is weird, but waking up. Hello. Here we are at the monkey bar. The breakfast buffet. Good morning from motherfucking Hamburg. This is where we're at. You're in a hotel. It's fucking awesome. It's a day off. I don't know what I'm gonna do with myself, but it's gonna be something good. Going down to the lobby to have a drink right now and set this motherfucker off, I think. Or I might get some work done. But uh, check out the room. Zoom out here, get the full wide angle. This bathroom, we got a little bulletin board. Dun, dun, dun. Pretty nice, old world European looking room. So here I am, and to the lobby I go. Nobody speaks English, just cool. I don't wanna speak English. Hey, there's Chuck, he's creeping on me. My don't film me without my hat! Push, push this, push, not pull. Is it the Tom Collins? It's Tom Collins. You, can't call you do Bloody Marys? Five, no. Yeah. Okay. Or tomorrow? <laughs> tomorrow you do? Yeah. Shit. We get this room. Right. No. I don't know if you knew what I, I meant. But. The hotels in these other countries, they leave the window open. You can just jump right out if you want. In America, you can't even open hotel windows. This is wonderful. Just enjoying. So, done some research. There's a cannabis social club. I don't really know what it means. There's a big red light district here called the Reaper Bond. A lot of prostitution. I'm assuming that's where the weed is. So, I don't know what this social club's about. It kind of sounds like it's a collective group of people that have weed, but they can't sell it. Where there's hookers, there's weed, You know it. You know it. Anyway, I'm going to head down to the uh, Reaper Bond in my Hawaiian shirt and see, see what we can get popping. Check in with you guys soon. Or two. All right, off we go. Me and Josh are gonna hit up, uh, hit up this city of Hamburg. Hamburg is where we are. We actually just saw an American traveler who was very excited to tell us about some cool spots to visit. And off we go, me and my dude. It's a vlog. <laughs> the wetsuit. I like that. Oh, sorry. I thought it auto closed. I feel like I was getting talked to by my mother. It's like, you have to ask before you film. I'm like, okay, yeah, man. He's like, now you can film. Now I'm filming. There's nothing I even wanted to film in here, honestly. Now I'm turning the camera back off. There it is. <laughs> cool. That's what's up. Saying it on the camera now. I'm not going home until I get weed. It's my mission for a today. Long time. I'm yeah. Smoke weed here. No, no. Hamburg is easier. Just from what I've read. So you know, there's always stagehands to ask tomorrow. But even those people, even the people that are supposed to be stagehands, not know where to get. That's what I mean. Like, whatever you're saying, I agree. Something illegal. All right, we must be in the right direction. This is cool. This is cool. I don't know. Is it cool? <laughs> Is it? I don't know, dude. Yeah. 
Yeah, you can't. Oh, like, <laughs> no, no, no. I don't know, dude. Where I don't know. Filming? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it would be funny. Dude. I thought you were going to actually do it. Oh. Maybe he doesn't even want to talk about it. The naked man. YouTube. What? YouTube. Selamun aleyküm. Selamun aleyküm. Oh, okay. Assalamu alaikum. Bismillah. Bismillah. Good side. Oh, time. Yeah, bismillah. Hello. Here. Oh, I got you. I got you, dog. We'll figure it out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Oh, almost taken out by that biker. Many trees. I found this company that sells tree. They have all this acreage in Maryland, and he's sending me a tree for free. It's about five feet tall, and then you plant it. They're like upside down. It feels like the roots are coming out of the fucking... That's exactly what it feels like. There's some trees in Germany, not the kind we're looking for, but we are almost to the red light district. If I have to, I'm going to pay a hooker to get me weed. What a nice day in That's not Hamburg. Yeah, seriously. This is St. Pauli. Imperial Theater. What's with the gun? 250 for one of those pizzas? That's what it said, pizza 250. Oh, damn. Oh, it's about to get crazy out here, I can tell. Yeah. You wanna go in there where the cow is? It says Kush. No, not Kush. You wanna go party? You wanna go get a beer? Yeah, fuck it, let's do it, it's all loud. It's really dark, but this is like a straight hole in the wall bar we found. The kind of places I like to go to. Oh, there's where the drum kit is, dude. Rock that shit. Here, I'll, can I have one? I'll have one of these. Oh, okay. Yeah, they chopped that shit up. About to eat this, see what it's like. Wasn't allowed to film in there, but I could film my food. Josh went to Burger King. He wasn't feeling the mini hot dog rolls. My man is out here. <laughs> Round two, had to get more. Got that wing. We got that weed. I've never been more excited about a guy getting weed. I've been trying for days too. I've never been so scared oh, in my life getting weed. They straight up sent us down this alley. I mean, the alley turned from the red light district. It got to, deep. To like, deep. These dudes super friendly though. My man, Sheriff, shout out to Sheriff. Sheriff. Hooked us up. I think he's coming to the show tomorrow. I couldn't understand everything he was saying. But he seemed like a real nice guy. Real nice people, man. Hey, Good. they didn't kill us or rip us off. They seemed yeah. chill as fuck. Yeah. 10 grams my pocket and uh we're gonna we'll get a look at him later i'm not gonna take him out right here for now we just made a pit stop at the pit stop mini kiosk this little pit stop oh oh no cameras oh we didn't oh understand. i'm sorry i get yelled at every time i take my camera out of the red light district so burgers banging there's a waitress up at her back there's something Germany is wild. Some kid just noticed me in the street from the channel. Now there's people coming out of the subway just singing techno music. I'm not sure why. Josh just wants to get home at this point. No, hanging out with Ernie is awesome. Literally anything happens around us, he's got to pull out the camera and film it. Ernie just got recognized on the street. That was pretty funny. Dude. That was kind pictures. of amazing. All right, so I'm high. Fired trees, not very good. Can't get the focus on it, but... It's oh. damn it, this lens can't get it. The shit is straight whack. You can see. But I'm high as hell, that being said. It's not it doesn't taste like shitty or dirty. It just it's not fire at all. Little known fact, let's hit this right now while I'm looking at the water and thinking about it because I'm damn thirsty. It could be all a artsy tour of the lobby. You get real cinematic on your asses. Water. Naturally out here it comes with bubbles. In the States, it doesn't come with bubbles. You order water, you have to order sparkling water. Here, you just say water, it's coming with bubbles. You have to say no gas. About five wieners today. Bratwurst, I had sausage. I figured that you need to have a hamburger and hamburger, but let me tell you, there was a ha hamburger alms. I thought it, it meant hamburger and beer. So I went in, but they didn't even have any food. And what kind of place names themselves hamburger that doesn't have any food? I'll tell you what place. The place that names it Hamburger is because we're in Hamburg. That's the name of the town. The town alehouse. My ass 
is looking for actual hamburgers. And then we went and got actual hamburgers in the Reaper Bond. Now the Reaper Bond is the red light district. We knew we could find weed. We knew in that shady area, we're gonna find weed and we did right away. The first bar we went to, the bartender helped us. It's great, so I don't even know if I need to recap this. But the tour of this lobby should be fun. I forgot the other lens. I'm gonna get semi-artsy on you guys because I'm not going back up right now. Then I'm gonna take you into the lobby with me. We're gonna open it up with a closer we here, Jesus. We're gonna open it up with a sort of beautiful shot. Shit is like your own kitchen in there. And you just fill out what you let me get that camera that angle out of there. Hold on. Oh there it is. Come on. Damn it. No, we're still back to the down. Burns home improvements. I do not forget we're in a hotel too in the morning. Well, what I like about it is that, hey, dirty urn, he's the dirtiest. Tables. Is it okay if I just get a shot of this with my camera? Yeah. Okay, I just want to ask you before. Oh, you can be in it too, just working. I did, it's, you know, I, I film everywhere I go. So my friend here just told me for cereal, you tell him what it is? Kellogg's. Kellogg's and cornflakes, and there's Kellogg's cornflakes, but everybody just calls all cereals cornflakes or Kellogg's. No. Uh, yeah. Uh, no, no, no. We don't have to do that. We don't. Have, I don't what want are you to talking feel, about? No, I don't want to. It's you pressure. You beautiful woman making you two drinks on camera. No, I do. But we already got her on teaching me the language. I, I don't. No, no, no. Only if you're comfortable. With no, 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 no. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I. But it's that fine. would be such great. It would be so great. I know, She'd but be the star of the episode. She already is with. Because you know what they call cereal out here? What? Cornflakes. Yeah, it's kind of like how we call Kleenex instead of oh, saying. Oh, that's true. Instead of yes. tissues, yeah. we See, call Kleenex. Oh, you do. See, it's a brand recognition thing. Oh, that's a good brand. Yeah, cornflakes, right? I'm gonna learn German town names. And I'm gonna get them all right. Can you say Cologne right? Sure. See, that's another. Is that the R again? No. Twist your tongue, bro. Cool. Cool. I sound. That was that close? No. No. Cologne is. Cool. Kill. Was I good with München? München? Right. Is that better? München? It's better. So München, that was good? That was good. Is Munich. We just spell it different because no one in America can say München. That wasn't as good. This is really difficult. Oh, Some... no, it's a romance language. The romance languages are the easiest ones ever. But my favorite supermarket is Reva. That's R-E-W-E. -E, and it sounds like Raver to me. That's how I remember it. Reva. But now there's this town. It's K-A-R-L. I'm going to read it to you guys. Maybe we'll put it on the screen underneath so that you can see. So it's just you got to remember it's not Hamburg. It's Hamburg. We say hamburger for the food, you know? Is this yeah. where it came from? Because uh, I did have a hamburger. Um, near New York, you also have a, uh, a town with the same name. So nobody knows. Oh, well. Like there was Hamburg, New York. Hamburg, Germany, or from Hamburg, New York. So. Yeah, no. no, no one knows. It's 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 like a battle, probably. Like some people say one, some people say the other. I'll tell you though, hot dogs, wieners, that kind of stuff is great here. And then K A R L S R U H E is pronounced Kaz Hua. Not really. Ruha. Ruha. It's Ruha. Ruha. Not, not I rolled my R's. I rolled my R's. I think like Spanish, I roll my R's like <laughs> So I do that, but it's a Kaz? Ruha. Where's the thing come in? Kaz, can you do it one more time? Kaz, Ruha. Kaz, Ruha. Kaz, Ruha. Kaz, Ruha. Kaz, Ruha. Rolling up some weed here. Let me just, I don't, I don't think it really broke down last night how this weed all came about. So you see parts of it in the vlog, but Josh and I went to the red light district. It's like nothing I've ever seen this red light district. I've seen uh, in Amsterdam, you know, you walk through, there's girls in windows. I, or if you don't know, I'm saying you know like it's normal. But in Amsterdam, red light district, there's big glass windows with like girls in lingerie in it. They open the window, they say hello, pick one, go in there, whatever. Here, they have the same thing in like a little mini section. On the way there, this entire street, every four to five feet are girls lined up hundreds of them. It's, it's kind of sad in a way. I mean, I don't know. It's, it's weird. The whole vibe is weird. 
So, so get into my story here. We basically get down there and we're like, we're going to find weed. We're like, we'll just ask one of these girls. Like, this is a shady area. You know, they're doing their thing. They all want to make money. So you could tell one, they all must know where to get drugs. Tell one of these girls, hey, go get me weed and I'll toss you money. Like, you don't even have to have sex. We're just, we're just down here to get some weed. First girl we walk up to, we're like, hey, can you get weed? She was like insulted. Like, was like, no. We were like, okay. No. And then we're like, you know, what do we know? Like, maybe the cops ask these girls for weed or set them up like I don't know their situation so we're like all right I don't know if this is the best idea the bartender at the bar that we stopped in told us basically quote unquote was like you know find any like Haitian or African guy down this street here and um they'll have weed sounds very <laughs> little racist it's really not because when you turn down that street it's Haitian and African guys and they have weed every single one of them like just as many girls were on this block there were dudes on this block like every you know 10 to 20 feet was another dude so so on the way when you pass these girls though, this is where i was going with this it's not like you just walk past and you can browse and you can pick a girl these girls are like trying to get you like they're coming at you like oh excuse me excuse me oh can i have a minute of your time do you want to come upstairs do you want one after the next like every three feet there's another girl grabbing onto you and if you go no no, no it's okay you get to the next one then the next one goes for you and this goes up the line for the whole time you're walking through the streets so really fun out there it's not like me and Teddy would joke in Japan how there's like one lady in the street and you'd walk by her and she'd be like oh hand job blow job and like try and get people in there this wasn't one lady working for the rest these girls all work for themselves it was incredible like the amount of, I don't even know how to explain it but anyway some of them wouldn't approach you just like in Japan some of them I don't think fuck with Americans so there's this one girl who didn't approach us which made me think like I could actually ask her a question without being worried about like her just trying to get me upstairs so called behind the scenes oh you see us out here yeah, I bet you want to see behind the scenes I'm like nope I'm okay with behind the scenes I just need some weed I'm a married man I love my wife so find this one girl standing and I just say to her I'm like look I don't want to be a pain I can give you some money same thing I'm like I don't know what the deal is I just need some weed and she's like oh gives us the directions tells us where to go we go down this road the minute I get down to the end there's a fence and uh, there's two two African guys standing there and I mean African, like straight from Africa, these guys, like accent and everything, standing there. And like, I make eye contact. They're about to ask me. They don't even have to ask. I look at them and I'm like, yes, I need smoke. And they're like, right this way. So the one guy's like a watch on the street. And then the other guy takes you down. The police can't see you. It's a little scary. He starts, he's like, all right, come with me. And you start walking. We're walking a little bit. And then we're walking a little bit more. I'm finally like, where are we walking to? And he's like, oh, just a little bit further. And I start talking to the guy. And he tells me where he's from in Africa. And tells me he's been here for a certain amount of years. You know, I make conversation with everybody. His name was Sheriff. So, ironically enough, got weed from Sheriff. Went down there. He sits us on these stairs. Me and Josh totally look like just... You know, two tourists walking around. They probably could have robbed us if they wanted. So once they start taking you down, like, streets and, like, down these stairs, I mean, it starts getting more and more hood. It's pretty rugged. So he sits us on these stairs, and he's like, don't talk to anyone. And I think the reason for that is they don't want someone else to come up and steal the business. So we're like, all right. We sit there, and comes back in, like, a minute. Has that bag with the 10 dime bags in it. And he's like, here you go. Boom, boom. We said, thank you. We're like, you walking back that direction? He's like, yeah, I got to go back. I'm like, well, we're going back that way too. Put him on a guest list. Nice enough guy. It was an interesting experience. A little bit nerve wracking at first because I'm not really into the whole like buying trees on the streets thing. You know, it's, especially when you get used to being legal in Denver and like you don't have to buy. Um, got a little low down on the whole business. But then the worst part is when we looped back around from the weed, we came back past the same girls. And like, of course, like, you know, just trying to get away. We're like, oh yeah, maybe we'll be back. Uh, we're just we got things to do sorry sorry because some of them are very aggressive well that whole maybe we'll be back or maybe we'll come back through thing fucked us because then we came back through and all these girls are like oh you're back oh you changed your mind let's go and we're like no 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 we got lost we're fine good thank you fucking ran our way out of there got to the burger joint i don't know this is interesting it's been a real struggle shit is not that good there's some seeds in it you saw it but we got it and it was a fun little adventure to get it made some friends along the way um actually gonna go check on laundry right now. I'm doing my laundry and Josh's laundry. I can't read the dryer says, uh, hold on. All right, I'm gonna just take you down and show you. 10 minutes to find my keys. Keys go here. When you pull them, the electricity goes out. Very conservational. Hello. See here we say hello at home. Here they say hello. So it's very similar, but different. Um, geez. 
Cool. Uh -huh. There's the dryer, okay? So, what you don't know, that besides drying clothing, if you go through Google Translate, this stuff over here, it's a steamer. It's a steam cleaner. So, after doing the wash, after doing the wash, I put it put it in here and I started steam cleaning it instead of drying it. I came back in an hour and the shit was just soaked. I mean, Jesus. It's also very moist in there. It is what it is. Today is feast day on the Pueblo. Alex is here until the 7th? Yeah, I gotta leave her. Right she leaves the 7th. That's Tuesday. My birthday is Monday. All right, so we just pulled up on Liz E. She's passed out, which is a good thing because she's not really been sleeping. So, super passed out. So we're gonna go eat at Michael's, which is the absolute best breakfast place <laughs> in Taos. Okay, we've been at feast day pretty much all day. I don't know if I updated and said that we were going or not, but we did end up going. It was amazing. It's actually a pretty awesome privilege to be able to eat there, and we got invited to eat, so that was really cool. But now we're going to eat again, because it's been a while. Eating and drinking and trying to be merry is the goal. It's okay, just update, and you don't have, you're not gonna be on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It is Saturday morning, no, Sunday morning. I'm about to have a drop on my phone to earn. I'm drawing. Today is going to be, today's Cinco de Mayo here. I had this design that I was gonna do, I was gonna drop today for Boys Day, but, um, which also is referred to as Children's Day, but isn't dropping because <laughs> I had to come out here. I have this sketch that I'd worked out. <laughs> Most of, I gotta finish this up. Um, I'm actually gonna paint. I don't think Toast, but Toast probably doesn't watch the vlog. So either way, if I did spoil it, then I spoiled it. But uh, <laughs> I was gonna paint this for Toshi because in Japan, when we went to uh, we went to where all those koi fish. Basically, when I was in Japan, they were like gearing up for Golden Week, which has Boys Day, which is Children's Day. Uh, is a basically a day where they celebrate children and to grow like a strong son. Started, you know, whatever. They have a girl's day too. I don't want to get into politics, but regardless, Kentaro, the story of Kentaro, strong boy, blah, 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 you know, spiritual tradition. That was what I was working on to drop. I wanted to drop it today with like a pen, like a little whole set, like a father son drop for boys day, but I can't because I had to come out here and literally my whole week just was this, so. On the back burner for right now, I probably am going to drop it coming up soon and not wait for the actual day because now people will know what it's about. So I have that to work out. I'm working on the next Mecha Godzilla, the final installment, because I need to get this drawing finished today. The closest place that has like a big copy where I can blow this up in just a one big sheet to make it easier to put on this paper is an hour and a half away in Santa Fe which we're going to already tomorrow because tomorrow's my birthday and we're gonna go back to Mal Wolf and just go again. Lizzie's never been and uh, you know, go eat dinner and do shit like that. So I have to get this done. Today's my first day of actually like being able to sit here and work. We'll probably still have going in town. But for right now, this morning, I got a draw. Our chillin'. Got two chillin' pups. Everybody's chillin'. 
Alex went to go get breakfast so I could get more work done. Just gonna bring back some burritos. It's been all burritos. Well, they're so good. Last night's dinner was ridiculous. I haven't been able to vlog much. It's kind of hard. Like, it's hard to vlog and be present with this type of shit, to be honest, and be helpful. So, last night I went to this art thing and I could have vlogged, but I didn't bring the camera. So, but it was cool. It was like this little, like, lowbrow vagrant art, which Trey was super into that type of stuff. I'm not gonna lie and say it's like my favorite shit, but that's like a lot of the art out here. Or landscapes and lowbrow. <laughs> that's like. It's like the move out here, I guess. But um, Dirty Earn is back from Germany and on his way here. He will be here on the 8th. So my birthday is Monday. Alex leaves Tuesday. And then Dirty Earn and Brandy get here Wednesday. Alex just has to go back to Denver to get some work done. And at this point, I don't really know how long I'm going to be here. So I have to wait for my friend Jesse Bob to get back. He's in Thailand. So he gets back on the 9th. There's just like, bro, <laughs> there's... A lot of shit going on so just trying to get everything like keep going and stay creative and <laughs> edit and film and you know and be like a boyfriend and a friend <laughs> and a human ah yeah it's, it's a lot of stuff you kind of have to laugh but oh man but I'm feeling good I'm feeling good Easy. never know what's gonna happen it's just like what it is you do, you do not know everyone's out here pretending like they know shit like all of it can flip in like a second so you know, it is sad. It's very, very sad. You know, as the days go by, it just becomes a part of you. Just like, just like how people, like your body becomes a part of the earth. It's like you become a part of the people that you touch. You become a part of the people that you influence in some way or um, motivate or inspire or even, you know, cross or fuck over. You know, it's like some people reach out after someone is gone and they want closure because they didn't fix it when that person was alive, you know, and they're like, oh, I just want to reach out. And it's like, it's, it's too late, bro. You don't, you don't get to have that. You know, you don't get to, you don't get to have an apology after everybody's gone. So, you know, if you got some ill shit out there, I'd say fix it so you don't feel that way. There's definitely been some people who've come forward who, it's not on some fuck you shit, but it's just like hard to care, you know, when people only show up afterwards, you know. Not that you have to be there every day of someone's life, but if you have ill, if you have ill shit going on with somebody, just fix it, bro. Like, it's not, it's not worth it, really. So, um, like, real ill shit. Not making fun of people, because we make fun of people. Like, that's comedy. Get over it. I mean, critique people, because when they do silly shit and say silly shit, it's, it's big different. I'm talking about real beef. <laughs> like, <laughs> real beef. Yeah. So... Crazy times. I'm gonna get back to drawing. It's 10:45 in the a.m. I actually slept in today for the first time. I gotta get to drawing. I don't have time for all this. <laughs> they both just ran up there as soon as they heard you. I don't know if I told the vlog yesterday. I think I did. They ran out of cheeseburger. Yeah, I think we did vlog. But they... Did you, they ran out of cheeseburgers and they ran out of. Well, in the morning they ran out of breakfast burrito ingredients. So. Anything else? Too? What? What happened? It's probably mine. I wanted Christmas too, but they think they gave me green. Well, but I don't know if you knew this. I don't know if you know. You can have them add green chilies to your burrito. Oh, did you do that? Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I think didn't I do it to yours though. Cause I wasn't sure if you'd want it. Why would I not want green chilies in my burrito? Are you serious right now? Are you joking? You're serious. You're serious. <laughs> Alex, <laughs> what's wrong with you? I already ordered yours. Like, I and you were, we were like, oh yeah, you throw green chilies on his too. <laughs> it's cool. It's cool. You could have just not told me about it too. I don't know if you know this or not, but they have something really good you could put on your shit. <laughs> I did it to mine. <laughs> I did it to mine, but <laughs> yours next time. I didn't know that you'd want it. <laughs> next time, Ted. I didn't know. Because I don't order green chilies on everything. I didn't know that you would <laughs> the, want it. The last vlog I talk about how <laughs> you should order green chilies on everything, but you haven't seen that yet. Mm -mm. But still. You know better. I hope yours is good. It is. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> Fucking dick. I've been 